Mathematicians, in this lesson you will learn how to divide unit fractions by whole numbers by drawing a picture to illustrate your problem. You already know that one way to divide whole numbers by unit fractions is to draw a picture. For example, if you have six apples and each person gets one half of an apple, you know that to figure out how many people can have apples, you will split your apples in half to show each person getting half of an apple. You are dividing six into one half and when you do this, you realize that when you complete this division problem, 12 people will be able to get apples because I have 12 groups of one half apple each. This type of picture shows situations where I start with a whole number and I want to divide it by groups of a fractional size, where I want to divide by a fraction. But what if I start with something of a fractional size and want to divide it by a whole number of groups? This is slightly different. Let's see what happens when I divide a fraction by a whole number. Let's say that I have one half of a jug of water and four of my students tell me they would like to share it. How much of the jug of water can each student have? In this problem, I still want to divide because I want to split one half into four equal groups. The difference is that this time I start with a fraction and want to split it into a whole number of groups. I can look at a picture of a water jug that is one half full and divide it into four groups to show the part of the jug that each person will get. Here, I see that each person can only get a part of the water I started with. I might be tempted to say that each person can get one fourth of the water because I split the water I had into four pieces. But when I look at my picture, I can see that the piece each person will receive is not one fourth of the whole jug. In describing how much water each person will get, I want to describe my piece as it relates to the whole jug. What I really need to do is split the whole jug in two fourths. Now, I can see that when I take one half of a jug of water and split it into four groups, each person can get one out of eight total pieces in the jug. Each person can get one eighth of the jug. When I divided one half into four groups, I see that each person gets one eighth of a jug of water. Let's try this in a problem. A popcorn store donates its boxes of popcorn for use as prizes at a team competition. How much popcorn does each team member get if a two person team shares a one third pound box? Here, I'm starting with a one third pound box and I want to share it among two people or I want to split it in two groups. I am splitting one third into two groups, or I'm dividing one third by two. I can think of a one pound box of popcorn where one third of it is full since the box of popcorn I have is only one third of a pound. And then I can split the box into two groups since I want to share it among two people. When I do this, I see that each person will get one part of the box of popcorn where the pound is now split into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. When one third of a pound is split among two people, each person gets one sixth of a pound of popcorn. Notice here that my whole in this picture is one pound. The original box of popcorn is only part of a pound, so when I describe it, I have to look at it as a fraction. Let's try one more just to make sure we've got it. Miss King has one-fifth of a bag of candy left to give out for Halloween. If three kids come trick-or-treating to her house, how much of the bag can she give to each child? I notice that Miss King has one-fifth of a bag of candy. My hole in this problem is an entire bag, so Miss King has only a part of a hole in her possession. She starts with one-fifth and wants to split this into three groups to give to three kids. She wants to divide one-fifth by three. Again, I can look at an illustration of one-fifth and split it into three equal groups to see how much candy each child will get. When I do this, I see that each child gets one out of five, ten, fifteen pieces in the whole bag or one-fifteenth of the bag. When I describe how much each child gets, it's a fraction of the entire bag. I see from this picture that one-fifth divided by three or divided into three groups gives me one out of 15 pieces in the whole. You just learned how to divide unit fractions by whole numbers by drawing a picture to illustrate the problem.